Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. I know it has been a minute since I have posted anything, but I am back with a TBR for June. So, June is my last month of work. Um, the school year is going to end, which means I'm going to have lots and lots of free time to read and hopefully get my books down and hopefully just like get back into this in my channel and just making videos and posting and editing. So I'm hoping <laughs> this will be the start and this will spark what I need it to spark to do this. Um, but I did want to do a just like a short TBR about what I'm going to be reading in June. Um, I picked out five books that I'm going to be trying to read and I'm hoping that I will enjoy them. Um, some of these are going to be probably a buddy read at some point and one of them is a book that's coming out in June so it's a new release um, and then we're going to go from there. Um, the first book I have on this list is the second book to The Blood Trials by Annie Davenport, The Blood Gift. Oh my goodness. I read The Blood Trials last month and I absolutely loved it. I ate it up. I'm so kind of sad that it's only a duology because of the fact that like I really love this world and I love the way that it's built and I like the characters and the like structure of the world so much that I would read more stories based in this world if this author would just write more. <laughs> so um, I'm really nervous that this is the last book like because I just don't know what's going to happen because the first book ended on such a big bang. But also, I just like, again, I just don't want it to end. Like, I'm so sad that it's ending already. So, um, the first book is about a girl whose grandfather has died. And so, they live in this, like, militaristic society or kingdom where um, her grandfather was, like, the prime, basically. Like, I think he was, like, the head honcho in charge or whatever. And when he dies, she kind of just, like, gives up on life. Like, she was in the military school, um, like, basically rising up to be, like, the next, like, guard or a guard of the, of the, of the kingdom or whatever. When he dies, she gives up. So she finds out that her grandfather's death may not have been, like, an accident or, like, natural causes. It may actually have been on purpose. And so now she makes it her mission to find out, like, who killed her grandfather. And so she finds out that the main suspect is one of her grandfather's pupils who are in, like, this, sec not secret sect, but the more deadly sect of their military. And so I think she was already planning to join that section before her grandfather died. But now that, like, she has all this new information, she makes it a point to specifically join this section for sure and make sure she, like, thrives in it. The catch is that she, first of all, um... They live in a society where, like, people of her skin color, which I think she's, like, darker. So her, her shoes darker and then her grandfather's darker. So people of their skin color within their kingdom are, like, basically shunned or treated really terribly. So that's one thing she has to deal with. It's just, like, the fact that she's treated terribly because of her skin color and because of who her grandfather was. But then also she has to hide the, she has to hide the fact that she has powers or abilities um, within her blood and she's to hide that because of the fact that their kingdom has past trauma from another kingdom like going to war with another kingdom that with people that are filled with those abilities and so if it's known that she has those abilities they're going to assume she's a spy and blah 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 so she has to keep that hidden as well so the first book is basically her like following her as she's trying to find out who killed her grandfather but then also trying to get through like basically the like trials of this um military camp thing so it's brutal it's intense literally you look at the cover and you think it's a ya it's not it's not a ya um it's a new adult um or adult, whatever, however you prefer to say that. Um, but I loved it. I thought the characters were so fleshed out. I thought the way that uh, the author focused on her um, journey through these trials was, like, intense, but, like, in a, like, thrilling way. Like, I never got bored. Like, I was never like, oh, just tell me more about the grandfather. Like, I'm just here to find out what happened to him. It was like, no, I'm, like, eating all of this up. I'm hooked from, like, first page to last page. And, like, 
every time she dropped new information, it was just such a shocker because you were just like, bruh, like what, like what is going on? Everything's getting chaotic. People are betraying people and people like are surprising you. So it's just, it's very interesting, but it's also very brutal. So I just really enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to trying this, like reading the second one because I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this ends, how the author finishes this and wraps this up. Um, but also because when the first book ends, things are about to be like, a war is about to happen. And so I'm just intrigued to see how this war goes down and how our main character handles the chaos of everything. Alright, so the second book I am going to be reading is A Court of Wings and Ruin. So I also read <laughs> A Court of Mist and Fury last month as well. And I loved it. So I don't I don't know if I talked about it, I can't remember, but I read Akatar at the beginning of the year and I was not impressed. I didn't really like it that much. Um, I think I gave it three stars, but I just didn't really enjoy the story. I didn't really enjoy Feyre as a character. I didn't really like the way she kind of just shifted from like um, provider of her family in the beginning of the book and then to like this damsel towards the end of the book well t like during the middle I guess and then like I guess she wasn't really a damsel at the end but she kind of was at the same time so it was just like weird and I didn't really like the vibes of that one but then I read uh, a Court of Mr. Fury and I like loved it more and I think it was the fact that um, in this second book you get to meet Cassian and Asriel and um, all the crew of, of Resand, and so I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I really enjoyed them as characters and I really enjoyed I thought it felt it brought like an extra element into the story where it wasn't just like Feyre all the time it was like everybody else too you know what I mean so I just appreciated that and then I actually wasn't sure how I felt about Resand in the first book because even though you got a glimpse of him you really didn't get a glimpse of him if that makes sense and so I feel like you obviously experience more of him in Court of Mist and Fury and so I actually really enjoyed learning more about his character and seeing him more in the second book overall and I liked the comparison like seeing like her relationship with Tamlin versus her relationship with Resand. so overall I really enjoyed that book so that is why I'm gonna actually go ahead and move on to A Court of Rings and Word because to be honest if that second book hadn't have slapped like it did for me then I wouldn't have continued but like Okay, I'll give it a try. Uh, the next book I'm going to be trying to read is uh, When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. So I've heard so many people raving about this book. Even when I bought it, like the guy that was at the store, like the bookseller, he was like recommending it to me and raving about it. So I'm really intrigued by this. I don't even know what this is about. I just know it has something to do with dragons. And I've just been really on a dragon kick ever since I read Fourth Wing. I It's just like sparked an interest in dragons. And so every time I see a book that has a dragon in it, I pick it up and I'm, I'm trying to read it. So um, I'm adding this to my list. I'm adding this to my TBR for June. And I just really hope I like it um, overall. Also, this one is a, is a chunker. So I'm definitely going to be getting the audiobook. All right. The next book I have is... Powerful by Lauren Roberts. Um, I read Powerless like two, three months ago. Loved it. It was probably the best enemies to lovers I've read so far. Um, and the fact that like it, it was genuinely enemies to lovers and it ended genuinely enemies to lovers. Um, and I know this doesn't like continue on from that book. This is like a like a novella of with the like the best friend or whatever so I'm willing to check this out and see what it what it could add to the story um while I wait for this second book to come out in July because I I just I need to know what's gonna happen next because the way the first book ended I was I was on the edge of my seat I was like what's gonna happen now what are they like literally I was like what are they gonna do <laughs> where do you go from here because I don't know um, in case you don't know, Powerless is uh, based in this world. It's it's a kingdom, I believe, and it 
in the kingdom, like, a plague came and, like, infected a bunch of people. And so everybody who was infected gained, like, magical powers or abilities or whatever you want to call them. And so the ones who weren't infected or who didn't get magical abilities are now exiled, basically. Like, the king has either tried to kill them all off or exiled them out of the kingdom because he doesn't he now is afraid that they're going to infect everybody else and make them powerless, I guess. And so when we start the story, our main character, she is powerless. She doesn't have any abilities, but her father raised her and trained her to pretend to basically be a psychic or to have psychic abilities. And so circumstances come into play. She accidentally saves one of the princes and she ends up being thrust into this competition. Um... And the winner of the competition, I believe, becomes the king's, or, like, the next king's new, like, head of guard, basically. And so, um, the prince she saved is in the competition, because he's supposed to be his brother's next head of guard. Um, but everybody else apparently has a chance, too. So they're entered into this competition to the death. They gotta fight each other, they gotta, it's all, it's a whole thing. And so as she's doing that, she's also trying to figure out who killed her father. Also, she finds out that there's a rebellion happening, so she, now she's got to decide if she's going to join them and help them or not. So the whole thing, it's chaos, it's a lot, of, a lot of elements into play, but when I tell you, like, the tension, the tension, it's re legit enemies to lovers. Like, legit. The next book I have on my list is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. So this is actually going to be my fairy loot pick because I got this in the fairy loot box <laughs> but I've also been really wanting to read this because I really enjoyed um her bridge kingdom duology I read the first two I haven't read the rest of the books in the in the series yet but I read the first two and I really loved them so I'm really intrigued to see what she does with a new series um I don't really remember what this is about but with the bridge kingdom I kind of just went in blind and it worked for me, so I kind of want to do the same thing with this book. But I really love the way that Fairly like designed this because this is this is beautiful. This is this is gorgeous. Just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, so this is the next book I have on my list. I already have the audiobook geared up for my library, just waiting for June to start. And then the next book I have is A Fate of the Sun King, um, by Anisha J. Tooley. This is the third book in the Trials of the Sun Queen quartet series whatever it's going to be um it comes out june 4th so i'm i believe i pre-ordered it but either way i'm gonna read it um so yeah i he don't know the child's son queen falls to squirrel who her her and her family have been imprisoned by the aurora queen and they don't really know why or at least you don't really know why they they're down there they just they're just down there struggling and so one night she is kidnapped and taken to the kingdom of the sun king and she is put into this trial to become his sun queen and so in doing so she's now exposed to this new world and she has to figure out who to trust who not to trust and why she's even been taken in the first place and also you're slowly starting to realize like why did the aurora king put her in jail essentially like her and her family what does she have that he wants um and it's a really intense story, and it's a really, like, it's a banger. So I recommend it if you haven't checked it out yet. I'm really looking forward to the third book, because, again, the second book ended on a bang, and I'm just here trying to figure out what's going to happen next, because it's chaos, and I love it. All right, and the last book I have on my list, and I think this may be um, a buddy read that's happening in June. I don't know yet. It's kind of like a whimsical, flexible but I read, um, but I may be reading, um, Withering Heights by, I think it's Emily Bronte, one of the Brontes, um, with Monet and Robin. I don't know the dates yet, but they're on a Klaxis kick, and so I decided I would join them on this one, because I've never read it, and I've heard people love it, so I'm willing to give it a try and see, so... But yeah, so that was my TBR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you'll be reading in June. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.